Hello world, I'm Alcap. Welcome back to Call the Simulator Apostle and the 8 where we're doing the new game plus mode with the Lantern Cult. Trying to get our illuminated one Dr. Von Doom to rise even higher from the mansions where he is a dwelling right now. Uh, between episodes I checked which book we really want to read and out of all these that we can read, this is the only one we really want to read. So let's just start uh, translating uh, that of right now. At this moment we are also working at our job in Glover and Glover. We are speaking about esoteric matters on the streets. We are uh, traveling at Tower Revec and we are entering the stag door. Our enemy is growing stronger and time is passing and a season of fascination is soon upon us. Uh, at this moment we want we have figured out some stuff about our third mode here, which is this, well, we know how to raise the allure, we know how to send the silver dead, and we know that the sufficient amount of more witnesses is seven, and we know that to do that we need to be in a situation where we can summon seven maids in a mirror in a row. So that's gonna take a while, I think, to get into such a situation. But what we do not know is how do we send for the key of days. Maybe that's something we do afterwards, because Swakana had something to say about that when we tried to talk to her about the dream of a key, but that didn't really help us. Um, it's just a thing that, that for, this is instructions for someone else. Like, there is someone else who is beyond the woods and knows something of the glory, and she said that it was her sister. So, I'm kind of thinking that it is uh, the one of the I think, can we call her a name emanation? It's a, Teresa, is she called? I don't, I'm not sure. The, 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 we can we can summon someone from behind, from the man, is the glasses wearing woman. So maybe it's her, maybe we need to talk to her about the dream of a key. I don't know, but that's like my best guess at this moment. So let's just go onwards and try to get into a situation where we can actually summon seven. Oh crap. You bloody hell, why did you, how did it go like this? In my last game, like, they managed to go through every curse without any trouble, and now they crashed into both the curses we met. Oh, that's just how it always goes. A subtle rapture. Should we take the subtle rapture? We could use it to summon something. Is there anything we need to summon right now? Well, the, those maids in the mirror about that. We don't really need those. Well, that Forbidden Epic is much better thing anyways. And yeah, let's dream this affliction away. Where's our funds? There's our funds. The dream of a key is gonna turn into a fascination. Let's hope that you don't want to grab some fascination next time. Okay, money and back to work. Oh, could have probably gotten rid of this dream of key with a ritual. Of course it's trembling in the air. What? Did I just check this and it wasn't fascinations? Maybe I just checked it and it was fascinations and for some reason my mind decided to say it just the other way. Yeah, dormant creeping breath curse. Why? Why did you trigger that curse there? Okay, and we translated a text here which was uh, the a true and complete accounting of the Asclepian mysteries of the roots of the house. Descriptions of the Asclepian mysteries reproduced by one Riley Grace from supposedly a much older text. It's unlikely to be genuine, but it makes a reference to the house without walls and its wood right there in the prologue. This is very obviously not an antique text. At the very least, it has been badly mutilated, but it contains substantial intriguing material, especially a persuasive comparison of the house without walls, without doors, to the human body with its many portals. Money! I just love getting money. Right, uh, let's go to the white door, because the white door can give us... Actually, I think the door doors can give us straight up a dread. I don't remember what... There's... Dread's something I usually try to avoid, but when you get fascination being the biggest problem, like we've had this whole game, getting 
dread is sometimes actually a really good thing. Pretty much the best thing I can find for dread, the easiest thing, is to go through the white door and hope to find an icy atmosphere or a restlessness. Both of them turn into a... Hey, that's actually true. Like the, the white door... Did I already go there? Yes. There's two things at the actual door that can turn into restlessness. No, not into restlessness, into dread. That's restlessness and the icy atmosphere. Or you can find the uh, level 4 secret history from there. So just at this point, that's just the best door to go to. Oh, well, you're grabbing health. Ah, uh, that's not good. We really need to work on our health now, then. Okay, a long delayed conclusion. Bundle the books into a sack. Hurry up the handholds to the tower stump. The sky above ripples with cobalt are rain. The hills around are washed with shudders of blue light. There is a high and singing sound from the stones of the tower as we leave. Lightning cracks from the sky, and suddenly everything is silent. The tower stump is gone. Okay, so we find the Twin Serpent Tantra. We find how the end will begin. We found the Furious Tantra. And found some bitter black salts. Now, since I wanted to go here, I'm pretty sure that one of these gives us a ritual of some sort. Are they all written in... Those are written in Sanskrit, but you are written in Vak. Since you are written in Vak, we will just read you like as soon as we can, because uh, I always feel that books written in Vak must have something very good in them. Okay, let's explore this occult scrap, try to find the hospital, because I think that's gonna help us to get the mates in the mirror. No, not the hospital, the uh, congregation of St. Felix of Shuren. Okay, so I read this book with a horribly long name again. The direction of death is down, the book explains. The peacock door has been considered a rent or an abrasion, but in some respects it's more like a mouth, if not a more treated point of entry. Discussions of the doors include a rite which may conjure creatures through those doors, although key incantations are missing. Okay, rites of the map's edge. We'll need to check out what that takes, because that's one of the things I never remember, and for some reason I've actually never written down what are the things that the rites take. Hey! Hey, hanger on! Purple hanger on! You might be useful. We'll take you in the cult immediately, because you are a key person, or knock person. And having a knock person will make summoning stuff a lot easier. You still not firing me? Okay, good. I'm not complaining. I'm just, uh... I was supposed to check the right. Damn it. Okay, let's, uh, where is the book that was written in back? It's this one. Let's translate it. And we're at the white door. Let's take this third time truth here. What are you? Oh, you're gonna turn into, uh... Vitality. Yes, vitality. And we're still seeing things, and there's nothing that's gonna stop that, so... We shall dream about the white door with our... We don't have health! Right, so... We... We need to get more health. Oh crap, how are we gonna get more health? We already have this, we need two vitalities. No, lessons learned. And every time we work with our health, it's gonna get fatigued. Ah, oh, this is gonna be horrifying. Really should have worked on my health before we went to a place that's got a curse. This is real bad. Okay, we'll take this pawn, make him into a disciple. Okay, what do we find here? Cater and Hero Limited. That's pretty not something we want to go to immediately, I think. Let's do this unresolved ambiguity right now. Let's see if we can find the... wonder what that place was called. Uh, it's the Eyes of Ikumawi, yeah. Must be, because I remember we wanted to go there. Well, I wanted to go there in the last, uh, last uh, run I did as well, for various reasons. Okay, Vitality here. Got some money. Okay, we got to... We can't because the health is fatigued. 
Uh, I remember we can find we can find vitality from behind some door. I need to check which door it was because we really need to start getting those vitalities if we want to, you know, not die. Okay, we can find vitality from the woods. Okay, so right now I think that because of this particular, like we're not gonna find these ever, these influences, it's just not gonna happen. Okay, hey, we translated this book, but it's really not the most important thing right now. The most important thing... Ah. Okay, we just gotta wait for this. Just having one health is horrifying. Right, we gotta study this health. We have this vitality here. And... Yeah, that's what we're gonna need to do. You... Oh, you just turned it into a decrepitude. Well... That's... Fine. Because, uh... Decrepitudes... Can be turned back into health with a ritual. It's the... Oh, what ritual is it? It's the, uh... Well, damn it! I didn't have that ritual in my notes. I know I've done that ritual, but it's not in my notes. It's Forge and something else, I believe. So let's, uh... Maybe it's Forge and Heart. Seems kind of like those things could be. Well, we have ten seconds until we can start next ritual. So let's see if we can, uh... Do that. Now let's just, uh, explore all these things right now. Hey, we got a contentment through the white door. Interesting. So, Woods woods gives passion, right? No, no, no. Woods needs passion, but it might give vitality from the well. So we need to do that. Uh, oh, crap. This is going to turn into a fascination. It's going to go here. Uh, oh, crap. We got a season of sickness coming. That means we're gonna die. Seriously. We're pretty much dead right now. Hmm. Because it's gonna grab our... Or, I mean, maybe not dead, but at least we can get our health back up. Uh, okay, let's see. Sunset right. Forge... Heart? No. Forge Grail? Forge is Redemption. With the five Forge and one Grail, I like to use a forbidden pro procedure to known as Forge Redemption's return decrepitude to health. Yes. So... Need to do it like this. Increase Forge to at least 10 to improve your chances further. This will often fail. Okay, so we don't probably want to do this. I didn't remember what happens if we fail. So we need to find higher level Forge Law. Like level 10 Forge Law. So that we can do that. Oh crap, we're so dead. <sighs> Life was so nice and now we're gonna die. Well, maybe not. I mean, maybe we can get our health higher, but with just one health, like, there's actual chances of us really dying here. I'm gonna return these commissions here just to, you know, just to do something that keep my mind out of the fact that we might just die. And you are rising your powers again. Stop doing that, man. Ah, we could use Ibn al-Adim to teach us uh, Aramaic now that we have the Iron Spin Trie. Or we could try to get more people in the cult. We need more people, that's for sure, but... This, uh, let's take your guys' commissions first. That will, will be easy, not much to think about. Okay, so... Now we have two vitalities. We need to do this for sure. Let's take the commissions. You are stronger now in what? In might. Ah, oh, crap. 
He's getting too powerful. Hey, Poppy gives a winter commission. Yeah, didn't I say at some point that Poppy likes to give winter commissions? Ah, <sighs> okay, more people, more people, more people, more people, please. And there goes our health. Okay, give me, give me, give me a vitality. No, a fertile truth. I don't want fertile truth. I want a vitality. Okay, back to the woods. And found Grunewald's permanent circus. I have absolutely no idea if we want to go there or not. And seriously, I'm so stressed about this health situation that I feel like I don't even want to check things out right now. Okay, we'll explore this for a bit in Epic as well. Okay, more money. And suddenly I realized one thing, which is that we can also turn this into lower level lore by just uh, researching them with... Uh, is it with reason? I think with reason. If you research any lore with reason, it turns into two copies of a lower level lore. Right. Let's see, is, is it... Is it so? Return to, sometimes I'm to return to a more basic understanding of a particular piece of law. This will split the law into two lower level fragments. You can recombine later, but it won't be as easy as splitting. And I was thinking at some point that we need seven of the lowest level knocklers, and then I was like, no, we can't do that because we're going to have to. So, but basically, we could, like, use level 6 lore here, or just turn this into a bunch of level 1 win uh, knock lores, and then use all of the lowest level stuff to turn those into a level 4 knock lores, that would have, like, double the amount. Because basically, this turn would be turned into two level 4s, then that's 4 level twos and then we could turn those into four level fours break those and we'd have eight level twos right so we don't might we might actually have to need to do the that's gonna take a hell of a lot of time so I think maybe trying to find that uh, other headquarters where we can dig for knock influence this is still probably the easiest way to for us to have the ability to summon seven mates in the mirror in a row but we cannot yeah we don't have the health here it's gonna take 20 plus a minute before we can get our health back uh, so what's 20 plus a minute that's 80 seconds and then another 180 so is this 260 okay so we'll we'll be able to get one more health that we can do we just need to explore like or research our health as soon as it gets we can get it back but that's gonna take a while so we can read how the end will begin while we wait a prophecy of the wars of the roads recorded in the subcontinent in the days before the great hooded princess in the foretold war, the children of the leash play march on the cities of the continent, but the enactors of Solar Law and uh, the Triple Sisterhood join forces to hold them back at tremendous cost. Okay, right, you're giving us an acquaintance. You are the affliction there. Like, if we now, if this here would be a season of sickness, we would just die. Right, money! Well, hey, at least we got some money going for us. Oh, man. Vitality! Yes! Thank you. Now, the thing is... No, I'm thinking, are we gonna use the vitality to get rid of this affliction or money? No, we're gonna use money, because the vitality is gonna help us get more health. So it's a lot more important for us right now. Find a cave candles. We'll explore this fertile truth. <sighs> okay, now I'm feeling 
a lot more relaxed than I was just a little while ago. This one little vitality here really helped me feel much better about our future. Oh, Dread. Ooh. In the battle between the Imperishable Legions and the Leash Flame, the Legions will perish and the Flame will be unleashed. The Mysteries of Force. Level 14 Edge. The Colonel and the Lionsmith are gods who were flesh, but the Wolf Divide is a god who was blood. Cunning, strength and agony are the three roots of victory, and here is their secret doctrine. Nice! And the, hey, the Dread actually helps us, because it's gonna go there. Okay. So, but we're not gonna read anything right now, because we're gonna have to wait for that 20 seconds for the health to come back. We're gonna learn some vitality from that. Then we're gonna go combine those vitalities, combine the vitality lesson learns, get one more uh, health for us so that life will be a lot safer. But even then, having just one health is quite dangerous. So, I Slee! Craig Slee, the astronomer and avant garde poet, has developed an interest in the esoteric as his health wanes. Slee, you are so coming into our cult because you are a seer type person. We are going to upgrade you all the way. Huh, I mean, Dr. Van Doom, you know, sacrificed him when he ascended, so it's kind of weird that we can find him, but, you know, I, I can understand that game mechanics sometimes need to be more important than uh, the lore stuff. So, what do we get from here? Gwer in. More fertile truths, please. Wait, didn't you grab that? Oh, did you have two fascinations there? Right, well, now I'm very glad that we got that thread from reading that one book. Slee, a believer. Slee speaks earnestly of his theories to all who will listen. The stars as tiny wounds and the sun as a hemorrhage of glory. His poetry is more eccentric than ever. And suddenly I realized that, yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Teresa that we need to summon and speak to about the key. Because she is Lantern 12. I'm pretty sure about that. Now I feel more confident about my idea that we need to do that. Because I remember just looking at Slee's, like the text box, I just pop into my head at what the, what Teresa is. Is it Teresa? For some reason I, I think that it's Teresa, but... Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that she has Lantern 12 there written in her things. Also, why aren't we dreaming about the woods? I want more and more vitality. Got some contentment here. Found a Skerisham. So we don't need to do those ever again either. Uh, okay, these are places I think we wanted to see. Right, vitalities combine. Oh, but we have one health, right? So that's gonna give us a second health. And right, okay, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be good enough for us for now. Uh, let's just go to the Vandershaft collection, which requires Heart or Winter and Forge or Knock. Heart or Winter. Let's send Heart and. Forge people in there. Uh, Vandershaft collection. Heart and forge and money. A cramped little museum in a provincial town. Long closed to public since an outbreak of peculiar rapture in the room where they keep the pressed flowers. Only the very curious would ever pay attention to the place and its closed watered storeroom of ill omened treasures. The door to the painted chamber of the Vandershaft collection is locked and warded. The building is said to be haunted by flowers. Wait, is there a curse here? Well, my notes don't say there's a curse here. This kind of sounds like a curse, though. We'll see. I mean, we can't we can't trigger all the curses, right? Hopefully. Okay, send. So, oh, it is a curse. It's the fifth eye curse. That's the one that grabs passion, right? Well, we'll send Clavette there, and then we'll send Lightlow there soon afterwards. 
Sleeze! Headaches have become crippling, but his theories grow more practical by the day. His poetry is getting better, too. And Slee, we're gonna make you into a seer. Mm. 17. 19. 21. Okay, I think it's gonna use a refulging, but it doesn't really matter. We just need Slee to be a seer. Okay, more money! Alright, we're already at over 100 coins. That is good. And Lila, come here. Break the door. What do we have here? Oh, Season of Fascinations. What's coming up next? Season of Despair. Do we have Fascination? Do we have Despair? Nope. So, we don't really care. And a peculiar rumor. Yep, that's a pretty useless thing. Do we really want to get our uh, health to be better? Like, getting health up is actually really easy. You just need to work with your health because that always gives you vitality. So if you work and study your health at the same time, you're going to get those like really fast, those uh, uh, vitalities and vitality lessons learned. Hmm. That I'm thinking that since once we get this, we are probably have enough of them. Uh, okay, let's go... No, 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 no. The reason I want to go to woods is to get those level 1 secret history so that we can find the uh, congregation of St. Felix of Shuren. Oh, you've been looking for stuff again. I didn't even realize. And you have opened the door. No, you didn't. To open and to remain closed. Today the store remains to its second purpose. Bloody hell, how are you failing now? Too much failure happening. And Slee! Slee speaks exclusively in mathematics and in poetry. Both are compelling. It is increasingly difficult to tell the difference. <gasps> Okay, so now we have two seers, which is awesome, because now we can send other one of them to spy on this guy. Right. Try to uncover the long strategy. Yes, Slee, you be there, you try to uncover this long strategy, and we still need to find knock people to make life easier. What are you doing? An attack on a follower. Our enemy has an agent out to deliver a savage beating to one of our followers. To any of our followers, they might find. What bloody hell? That's not nice. Another follower might rush to assist, but they risk being wounded too, and it would be foolish to send spirits against the forces of an ancient long. Ties total of uh, edge. Forge or winter will determine whether our followers escape unscathed. Well, we're not gonna send anyone help you. You're gonna do it on your own. And yeah, you need more money. Good thing that I remember to check this, cause how could you fail there, man? Okay, we are in the woods and we found the occult scrap. Good, that's what I wanted. And okay, now we have a hardened physique and two health. So what we really want is a book that gives us 10 for so that we can do the spell that gives us back our health. Hmm. Or we could try to just create more health. But I don't think that's really something we want to do right now. Instead we should probably just read these books. Like, there must have been a reason I wanted to get this. Like, it just can't be justified that it was a level 14. I mean, we don't do anything with a level 14 thing. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, translate the Furious Tantra here, and uh, then we are going to end this episode here and continue from this in the next one. I'm a cop. Uh, this is being called the Simulator Apostle NC8. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.